Today, we about to talk about a topic that is talked about amongst the black community a lot, but it's always on a hush. And we decided to bring it to the forefront, which is the DL black man and, uh, and the DL lifestyle. Um, I don't even know if I'm considered bi now since I just be with you. Uh, you is a gay. That's sure. why I never really considered myself to be DL. I always felt that was more like discreet about my alternative aspect of my lifestyle but <laughs> based not on the, alternative based on when he was talking about even him being a gay man talking about how the guy shouldn't, man shouldn't be smoking hookah shouldn't be smoking hookah boy let these people spend their money how they want to spend their money <laughs> Welcome back, YouTube, to the Gay Safe Space with Kerry and Pierre. Today, we about to talk about a topic that is talked about amongst the black community a lot, but it's always on a hush, and we decided to bring it to the forefront, which is the DL black man and, uh, and the DL lifestyle. And the DL lifestyle and what it means to be DL and just breaking it down. Some of our experiences with that phrase DL and hopefully this video, the purpose I feel like is just to open that line of communication between us and maybe a young follower of ours that don't know what way to go or what they should do or if they DL that this can be right. that outlet for them to, you know, just be yourself. Right. At the end of the day. But let's talk about the fact as well that a lot of people miscategorize the term DL and what it actually means and yes. how it's used, especially when it comes to like real life. Right. And people actually living these double lives. Mm. Right? I mean, I know I'm guilty of it. He's guilty of it. <laughs> <laughs> and I think in a lot of ways, we're kind of thought initially well not all of us but some of us mm -hmm. based on our backgrounds our lifestyles our communities how we grew up where we grew up that kind of shape how we approach that other attraction that we have mm -hmm. that no one really sits with us and say hey right this is the, you could be this or you could be that or you could be the other and it's okay Right. Right. In a lot of cases in the black community, that conversation does not happen, but. Because it definitely of, didn't in my. Oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell no. You're a man and you're a boy. Right. And as a boy, this is what I expect from you. And as a man, exactly. this is what I expect from you. Point blank, period. So growing up, what, when did you find out the word or the phrase DL? Like, were you a kid or were you an adult? I was a kid. Was um, a kid. I think I was like a young teenager mm -hmm. probably i had not yet acted on the feelings that i had and the attractions that i had but i definitely knew they were there mm -hmm. the first time i heard the word dl or the term dl would have had to have been from tv yeah just like you know they'd always do like they, do they call it like in grenada do they say dl like was that a a, a phrase or is that more so like an a black american phrase? that's more a black american thing like because you know like we have different phrases and different like code words and shit mm. so you know it's a, it's a little bit different Okay. But DL is really, it was largely popularized by American media, mm. even like the phrase and stuff and what it means and how it's portrayed. Mm -hmm. So tell me about you. When, when did you first heard the, hear the term DL? I want like, to say, did it mean to you? I want to say it was like just being around family, like in between like family, I feel like being gay was definitely like. A no no. A no no, and right. it was just bad. I know I've I heard it around family members that that word, and I right. knew that it meant dudes. At that time, I'm like, okay, it means that guys who like guys, but they sleeping with them on the low, right? And have whole wives and girlfriends and stuff. So I kind of knew what it was. And at that time, I just was like, even though I knew I like guys, I was like, oh, I ain't never, I, I'm just about to keep this to, me. well, 
I feel like even that early on, I knew I like guys, but I just mm-hmm. was like, I was, I can't say nothing. I, I just can't. You know, at that time frame. Approximately what age would you say you figured out you liked guys? I mean, I feel like I knew. This already. I feel like I knew. Now that I think about it, I feel like I knew like early on that I like guys. And even when it comes to, well, first, let's, let's roll back real quick. What does the word DL mean to you? What does the, that is a great question I want to know because I feel like when we kind of talked about this earlier, we might have had two different definitions of what DL, DL means. means. Okay, so, so what like, does DL mean to you? For me, DL typically would mean like a dude who, you know, is married or is actively dating a woman, seriously. And, you know, he, in all accounts, would be straight. But then he's not because he does have sexual interactions with men Mm -hmm. in private, in secret, and nobody knows about it, especially his wife and kids and his family. Like, Mm -hmm. he's straight as far as everybody knows. Right. So, yeah. Right. I, I pretty much feel the same way with my definition, but can... A single guy be DL, like if you don't have a wife or kids, like how do you feel about that? I mean, can and y'all let us know too. Can put it in the comments. Can a single guy who's single can he be DL? But is with he your like, definition, it's a he, wife or a man with a girlfriend who's hiding. What if right. he's single? Okay, but <clears throat> and somebody mm-hmm. asks him, do he like guys? And he says. No. no, I mean, is it that he remains single or is it that he's single in the moment but he still dates women? Yeah, he's single in the moment and still date women. Right, so yeah, I mean, that's just a single period at the time, I mean. But that could definitely classify him as just being gay. <laughs> <laughs> and living his true self <laughs> because there ain't no woman around to police him. So I think in those single phases, the dudes who are DL, they actually practice a full-on gay life mm-hmm. unless they're intermingling and sleeping with both men and women when they're single. Yeah, so what if they're doing that? I mean, then I guess they buy. <laughs> <laughs> so they still not DL. Child, they could be, they could be whatever they want to be. <laughs> want to be a pop star, child? Be a pop star. <laughs> but no, that actually kind of leads me to the next question. It, do you feel like in your single years, because y'all, we both shared this, we both... Um, I don't even know if I'm considered bi now since I just be with you. Uh, you is a gay. Man. I'm a gay, y'all. G a y e. I'm like, damn, it's been a long time since I messed with a girl. Exactly. Uh, we, we, we gonna about f- four years. We gonna fix that soon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, y'all. <laughs> My question is, do you feel like in your single days when you were single, mm-hmm. if like, because you know how word gets around. If word got around and a girl came to you and was like, I heard that you like guys. And it's a girl that you either want to have sex, want to have sex with or have had I sex with. I deny that shit. Oh, you did not. So I does that count? Kind of, so would that mean that your your what what does that mean? Are you DL? Is that considered DL because it's you were single and you? I've never considered myself to be DL mm-hmm. for real. I don't think at any point in my life. Maybe I was based on the definition of it, but I've never considered myself to be that simply because. Typically, when I'm dating, <laughs> typically I would never mix the sexes because I always felt like that kind of added to my confusion. I was mixing and mingling, right? mix and match. <laughs> so yeah, occasionally it happened when I was single, but when I was dating, I never really mixed them. So I don't think like, even when I was dating like the girls and stuff, I wasn't messing with guys during that period. Mm-hmm. So it was never like oh. me like, Dibbling and dabbling and still kind of stringing along. I was never that. I was like, okay, I'm dating her, I'm dating her, and that's it. Mm-hmm. And I'm dating him, and I'm dating him, that's it. So typically when I was dating a guy, I wouldn't mess with girls. 
And typically when I'm dating a girl, I would mess with guys. So, okay. I don't know. That's, That's why I never really considered myself to be DL. I always felt I was more like discreet about my alternative aspect of my lifestyle. But <laughs> based Not on the, alternative. Based on societal standards. But <laughs> I am dead. <laughs> but... We are. Yeah. First, first, let me, and I should have did this first. Let me give y'all the definition of DL, what, what I Googled basically earlier. And the definition is down low sexual slang, men who identify as heterosexual, but secretly have sex with other men. Right. And so that's the definition I got off Google and Child, if that's the case, I've been DL all my life. All your life, child. <laughs> <laughs> because I've just been minding my little business. And I'd always meet a woman up to today. Up to these But do you remember when we did the... Um, she met her husband. No, when we did... We was on Clubhouse when Clubhouse mm-hmm. was popping. And we had was a little the thing. Yeah. And we had people join. And one of the guys, he asked... I think him... And Shayna was kind of had a little back and forth about, you know, a man needing to tell, like, he don't need to tell a girl. If they both single, he does not have to tell her. That he likes man. Yeah, that he been with a man. Like, he felt like that's none of the girl's business. Right. Even though I like guys, why is that a girl's business if we fucking or not? Right. That's how he felt. Right. (laughs) Honestly, that's exactly how I've lived. Mm-hmm. Until I guess I fully embraced the fact that I was gay and I should just live a gay life. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like I would never tell them. I think that there was only one girl, and that was actually my very last girlfriend, who I had told that I had experiences, whatever. But she also had experiences with women, so it was almost like we were both doing it whatever but secretly she like girls and I like guys so mm. but it was fun like she was very pretty <laughs> we had a lot of fun but I ain't tell none of them but one of them the found out one. though and she still was fucking with me oh <laughs> that's back when I yeah when I, when I was mm, that was back in the day and she found out and cause people was talking and she still be coming over to get smashed Okay, I never had that. Like, mm-hmm. She never brought it up to me. I never brought it up to her. Right. You we, just knew we she got knew. our nuts and kept it moving, shut. Right. Yeah, <laughs> I never, I didn't have those experiences with people like finding out like that, especially girls that I mess with. Like, my shit was always kept under wraps. Okay. Like, nobody know who I sleep with. Like. Okay, so the next question is so, what's the difference between DL, discreet, and being in the closet? Right. And y'all put that in the comments too, because we want to know your opinion. Like I said, this we like to make our videos a conversation amongst the group. So y'all put y'all's in the comments too. So right. So what are me, the difference? Like I see, like for me, before DL always would typically include the other sex mm-hmm. and a woman being involved in some form or fashion or multiple. Um, discreet. Could or maybe not so much. I think I was more discreet than anything else in the, in the sense of, as I said, I never really mixed the sexes, but you know, it happened and nobody knew about it. Right. You were just living and it wasn't that you were ashamed of it or you were necessarily hiding, but you just never had to really answer if you like guys or not and it's not information that you'd voluntarily give out see mine was like remember when we had the erotic barber yeah in october on our page right mine was more so like them people were still you know you'd hear your whispers and people would ask so it's i've definitely been confronted with a question not from a girl that i actually mess with but from other people and I guess when I think about it, I'm like, damn, I guess I was a DL. <laughs> I mean, not to laugh about it, but it was just like, how do you think, do you think the girls that you mess with feel some kind of way now that they know? Like, actually, I don't know. I know you don't know, but what never, do you think? Nobody ever said anything. They all connected to me. That still. was the closest thing of anything that was ever said. Besides that, 
Nobody ever says anything. I personally think they probably do feel some way. Some maybe don't. Some probably do. Probably. And the reason why I say that is because on social media, like 95% of the negative comments we get is from women. Is from black women. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't know if it's because. I guess we're mask presenting, but I already know I have, you know, some feminine feminine traits, so it is what we it is. Do. But no, I think that I think for me personally the reason why that is is because a lot of women, for example, when they meet me, right? They just met their potential husband. Mm -hmm. And they say it, they express that, they they really generally are disappointed when they find out that I'm gay and this is my man. Mm -hmm. I mean, some of them be happy eventually. I mean, okay, I guess. And if women are smart, they would see it as dodging a bullet because in the same breath, because I've had you there, stringing you along, and we still fucking. Niggas on the side. Right? <laughs> and here we are doing you a favor by being out of the closet and being open about it and living in our truth. And some of them still can't appreciate that. Yeah. They want to be strung along. They, they want to be made a fool of and, and have a man that's on the DL just for the sake of having a man. But then in the same breath, I still give them grace because the black women I feel like be mainly saying stuff, it do be like the dark-skinned black women. And I feel like they have it the worst out of every kind of a black woman there is. Because these straight black men, the way they treat them, is like shit. Like, it's not oh, like child. you rarely hear them, child. like, really going, going, going hard for them. I'm just being honest. This is just my opinion. And then they have to, they have to deal with now the influx of, gay guys who are actually living in their truth like us i'm just looking at it from their perspective that's all i'm i'm doing right now and, and they, that makes them feel some kind of way then they got to deal with the black guys that date just white girls and openly say they don't like black girls at all so at in at a certain point to a certain extent i'll be like okay i understand what a lot of the times how they i, I get it and so I, mean, I like to lead with giving grace. And I when mean, I do see them comments, you know, we don't reply to them. We just delete it and keep it moving. I mean, I get it, but I don't. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, this is not 2000. Right. And this is not 1990. Right? This is 2023. And gay people have been around since all of us were born. Right. Like every single one of us. I so, do get it. I get that. But what I'm saying is with all the stuff I feel like they, that they have to deal with. Okay. Have to deal with Clap and to move them. on and mind your business. I feel that way too, but I just I kinda get it. I, I mean I give them saying. grace, yes, but what good is it to you and what purpose is it serving you? To say some coming up in somebody else's DMs or comments to throw hate because mm. you're mad that none of them is your husband. How does that make any sense when it's not a husband that could have been available to you and fully in the first invest place. in you and build you and, and do everything that you need from a husband because he likes men. So make that shit make sense to me. It doesn't make sense to me. This is true. So, <laughs> but okay, I digress. We'll give them grace. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like to hear, babe. So have you ever dated somebody who was deal? Mm. I don't think so, no. Have you ever been in a situation where you both were like dating or like each other but y'all couldn't really express it so y'all still had girlfriends and y'all were fucking? And that was your boyfriend but y'all had girlfriends? Child, no. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever dated a DL man? I don't think so. Uh, I, I really uh, don't. I feel uh, like every everybody that I like dated, I was like, okay, we did. We together. Have you like had sex with the L man? Yeah. Yeah. What was that experience like? I really don't remember. <laughs> okay. 
I just remember. Have like, you ever I'm been sure. in a situation where you were having sex with a dude who had a girlfriend and you had a girlfriend as well? But y'all were sleeping together and y'all liked each other? No. All the girlfriends that I had, I was just fucking them. Girlfriends. All the girls that I, girlfriends that I had, yeah, we were together. It wasn't So at the point no of guys. you being in a relationship, it was just that girl. Well, you got to think about it. When I lived in Michigan, that's when I was dating the girls. And, and you hadn't had experiences with guys it, yet. Exactly. So when you moved to Florida, you never... Well, no, I had some experiences girl, with guys like, in Michigan. I just was... They were sucking you I was, Yeah, and I was single when that was happening. Right. Yeah. Okay, so when you moved to Florida did, and you started, like, messing with guys, did you ever, like, have a girlfriend? Mm-mm. When I moved to Florida, that's when I was like, I was like, I, I switched. It was me fucking, fucking with guys way more, and girls was just something I did on the side. <laughs> <laughs> just something to do. It was just something to do. Like if you know, hey, it happened, it happened. That's that's what it was. So, so it you never came to Florida, and it really became a whole game, man. I really who fuck girls on the side. That's yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so you came here and you started living your truth to truth. Yeah, truth. But then on occasion, I'd be like, okay, I want to feel some titties. Go ahead and smash somebody, call it a day. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. I kind of wanted to talk about another topic because I feel like amongst the black community, like being gay is just it, people are evolving now and people are changing and we're slowly. growing slowly. But another thing I wanted to talk about is like straight men, they're not allowed to do anything that might be looked at as feminine. Right. Like, which, which is actually one of the foundations of the DL mm -hmm. lifestyle. Exactly. Because when they're among guys, they're able to be themselves and be their true selves in a lot of cases. But when they're around the girls, they have to be like, ridiculously mature so masculine macho and <laughs> the, the whole shebang of yeah. not having an inkling of femininity even which is impossible right even going to like the point where i don't know if y'all seen you know we love us some saucy santana chat sure. but <laughs> yes but nonsense he was saying. when he was talking about even him being a gay man talking about how the guy shouldn't, man shouldn't be smoking hookah. Shouldn't be smoking hookah. Boy, let these people spend their money how they want to spend their money. Right. Oh, no. <laughs> right? <laughs> that has nothing to do with you. <laughs> right? But at the end of the day, we, that's some, even like we, he look at podcasts a lot. And sometimes I, I get a feel of it. And I'm like, these bitches are delusional. No oh. wonder y'all have no man. Because... <laughs> At the end of the day, like, black men really can't do shit. And shit. that's why we have to hide. They can't, we wear, to live in the they can't wear Chelsea boots. I feel sorry for black straight men. Y'all got to do Y'all can't do shit. No, Y'all can't, can't wear Chelsea boots. Y'all can't drink. What, what's the drink they said they can't drink? They can't drink no sweet cocktails like that. They can't smoke hookah. Like, bitch, what if I want a sweet fucking cocktail? Right. Like, and then when you look at the white male con counterparts they can do all of that they, they can, can express their man crushes man crushes we was watching i showed him a clip i think it was of the view and one of the hosts on the view white yeah. lady yeah. she was like oh my, my husband said when your i meet you right to, to let you know, know that you're his man crush <laughs> And that's okay because right. they see things a little bit differently than right. the way straight black people see it. And that's one of the primary reasons why we all kind of caught in this bubble and the right. whole premise of the dear life that exists. Because and that's why I feel like these girls, black girls, y'all better ease up on these they niggas. Better evolve. Because if you all ain't doing it, you ain't sucking dick. For you to say you ain't eating ass. No niggas love to choke on the some All dick. that shit. And they love eating some the ass. The shit that you ain't you don't wanna do, it's a nigga and a bitch waiting in the rafters for him to, right. to do it at a so, drop of a die. I have a question. <laughs> I 
I have a question. <laughs> get with the times. <laughs> what do you think about the men that get pegged? Like, do you think that they, they practice the DL lifestyle, but in the events that they do not feel they want to be with a man, they, they have their woman penetrate them with a the dildo? So I, I don't even know about <laughs> that one. <laughs> I mean, it's like I, I want to be like, oh, that's that's a heavy one. One. right? No, that's that's a heavy one. One. If you were to say eating ass, straight men can definitely get their ass ate. Of course. But then why they can't get fucked? But <laughs> no, no, get them fucked. No, that's a superpower. Like, like you might as well get the real thing. <laughs> that is a, but right to me, that's what I've said. Like, if you're a man who likes being pegged. With a dildo, a dildo feels like a dick. So. But no, I do feel. But, but I do at understand the end of the day, to some can. degree attraction. Because maybe you just not attracted to a man. Maybe right. you just the whole idea of seeing a real penis and seeing yeah, all that abs is and just body not is just what you not, want. Right, you want yeah. to see the titties and you want to. So wh- what about the, the transsexuals? Because in a lot of cases, a lot of these straight men, when they go with the girls. They don't go to, to dig them down. They go to get fucked by these girls with the titties and with the wigs and with the, the ass and with the body, but with a big ass dick. So, <laughs> so that's the next side of it too, because a lot of them, they, they would have like stable girlfriends, but then their bottoms when it comes to having sex with a man. So, and that's one of the primary reasons, too, they cannot tell the girls that they're big yeah. men because automatically they just have they to be so masculine. Gay. Automatically. If, you, if they have an inkling of you having any attraction to a man, yeah. you're gay and you're tainted and you're, like, spoiled property. Uh, and that's another thing. Girls. Like, if I was to give any of the straight girls advice on a, on a man if they think he might be or anything. Get that man just, some grace. Yeah, get that man some grace and just, if he's interested in some shit, don't make him feel like he has to just be so masculine. Be open. Be open to change, they, you know? They try, they're not listening to you. They're not <laughs> Wait, because like I, remember I told you about them in the rafters? So, be open, cause it's in the rafters. So they the waiting. Rafters are there. They will. They would still. They right now. Pounce on your nigga. That's exactly they what they waiting. They will still sit there and say it's good because the, he wasn't for them. So, and they would sit there and be single for thirty mm. years. And no cats. <laughs> okay, and so this is another thing I wanted to talk about. Since we we having a conversation, y'all, and I know we might be all over the place, but just you know, chill, stick with us, all vibe. Over the- <laughs> Put the comments. Drop drop your opinions too about everything we, we talk about. about we want to know. Like, tell us your opinion on pegging. Tell what us your do opinion. Y'all think about straight men that get fucked by dildos or those strapped on by a woman. Like, what do y'all think? He's taking and these, some of these dildos be big as fuck. Yeah. Gay men can't be taking these size dildos, and these straight men would get that shit, and they they happy. They ain't, Ecstasy. Right. So what masculine, do y'all think about that? but so feminine in the sheets. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. So put it in the comments. Let us know how you feel. So the next thing I wanted to, I guess, talk about is why do some black women don't like masculine gay guys but befriend feminine gay guys? Because you see, the feminine gay guys are, the, are, are seen as, well, not seen, child, they, they have superpowers too, because mm-hmm. they're the most talented ones among us in a lot yeah. of cases. I live for a feminine gay guy. They're very talented. <laughs> in a lot of cases, I, I feel like straight women, especially straight black women, they kind of would suck up to the feminine ones because it's very convenient. Mm-hmm. Because they're the ones doing their nails. They're the ones doing their hair. They're the ones doing the shopping and the fashion Stylist. and stylists mm-hmm. and everything else, which in turn benefits them. Like, what benefit does a, a masculine gay guy have to a straight black woman? Yeah. What's the benefit? You're right. 
<laughs> no. They don't bring out the sass and they don't bring out that feminine energy that they want because right. again when they look at a lot of masculine black men it's just they real see hard their to comprehend. husband. They yeah. see their husband in him. Yeah. And it's not possible so then it, then it becomes almost very impossible to even have a friendship because right. How is that going to work out? Right. When I could still see a husband in you. Yeah. But I don't see a husband in the feminine ones. I see a creative and I see a benefit. So that's a big difference. We teach them the slang and we teach them the tea and we give them all the stuff that they, do, they don't get from straight men. Uh-huh. But they get it from the feminine gay guys. So that's my opinion on yeah. that. No. Ditto. I, I, I agree with you on that one. Why do you think men become DL in the first place? Like, I think I think we kind of did until that time. Oh, yeah, we did. Kind of at the beginning. Yeah. yeah. Kind of along the way, even yeah. like speaking about how black women view them and even a hint of femininity. Yeah. And right. us growing up with right. both of our experiences, exactly. how it's basically like that's the worst thing you can be. Worst. And another thing, I feel like as a youth, that worst. was talked about so much. Yeah. Like amongst think, the black community. Like, I why is the black community is, obsessed with being gay? Right. Whereas you I don't know that. It. Our counterparts, they would jack off together growing up and they'll have fun together and they're not gay. Wait, but, who? Why people? They would they'd be like, so wait, y'all used to jack up by yourselves? Y'all never jack up with your friends and with your, your peers? And wait, how old? Have jacks ex- like what, teenagers growing oh. up. Like, you know, that's something that was really, they spoke about that recently. But That's what the white people be doing? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, child. But I'm just saying all that to say... It is just very different the standard in which they hold black men. Yes. And the expectation is so grand. Mm. In a lot of cases, it's almost not achievable. All right. Yeah, y'all got it. And just... because of that expectation now, the pressure is always on us as black men to be perfect, to be mm. breadwinners, Strong. to do everything feasible and possible for your well-being and your comfort mm-hmm. and in most cases you offer sex right <laughs> they gotta foot the bill they gotta pay for everything Ooh, they gotta do everything. y'all gotta be so masculine and y'all gotta pay the bills y'all gotta do all that you i gotta, feel sorry for the they gotta do the hair they gotta send them shopping Child, they gotta what? do the nails they gotta do the eyelashes they gotta buy the makeup they gotta even send them to me no means no it's just a lot the standard is just <laughs> very different for them right and what makes it worse is that it's such an imbalance as far as the head comes Mm -hmm. there's so many women to one man and that's the reason why in a lot of cases you can't lock a man down because your standard is so high for them so they just have it really hard and i feel sorry for them in a lot of cases but that definitely helps to promote mending being DL and still experiencing and experimenting with that side of their attraction mm-hmm. because it's not something they could openly express with women. This is true. They just can't. So, yeah. Yeah, I feel you on that. You gotta realize the competition stiff, baby. The pickings <laughs> are small. The pickings are it's small. Slim child. The pickings <laughs> are slim and small. So, darling, what do you want to do? There's a thousand other bitches lined thousand. up. Waiting in the rafters. <laughs> Remember them rafters I told y'all about? But to um, wrap this video up, man. So, yeah. So, what would you? What would you say to a young man? From Trinidad or even Grenada, who is trying to figure out what he wants to do. He he's a gay man, but he he, he has to live this straight lifestyle. So I guess he's quote unquote maybe possibly DL. What would you say to him? Your life, your rules. <laughs> your life, your rules. At the end of the day, I sincerely believe in exercising your power. Mm-hmm. And unless it is grossly wrong because you do know right or wrong, but when it comes to like your choices and you deciding who you want to sleep with, 
that's all on you. Like, you make those rules. So, if you don't think that it's time for you to come out of the closet and you need to live that lifestyle because of your circumstances and because of where you live, child, do what you're doing. Mm. And don't force yourself to be something that, you know, will detrimentally make you unhappy. So, as right. far as me, I personally would say move. Get your coins, get whatever you have to get together and move and start over. That's exactly what I did. That's what I, I did too. Move. That's what I did. I got the well. hell up out of Dodge, out of up that and city. Gone. And started, and that's when my life started. And now I have done things. Cause like I said, I guess, I guess I I guess I was DL. <laughs> I guess, I, guess I was on the down low. <laughs> Messing with girls on men. According to the definition in Google, we we were some down low ass niggas. <laughs> but uh, to anybody out there, if you are living that life, especially at this at this point where things aren't where they need to be, but they're a lot better than when it was when I started messing with guys. Move, get your shit and move. Get your ducks in a line. And get the hell up out of Dodge. That that's and live your life. That's what I would think. And if anybody that has been in your life, once you do finally live in your truth, they they don't accept it. Exit stage down. left. I'm There's down. the door. Don't beg nobody. Don't because our time here is limited. We, we don't know what's on the other side of those doors. So while we're here. Live your life As the you best way you can. Make your own rules. That's it. So, but yeah. So y'all put put what y'all tell think us what about y'all this. Think about this video. Yeah, tell put us it in if the you comments. Enjoy this video. Tell us what is your opinion on some of the things we discussed. Cause we really want to hear from y'all. We really want to know. And continue spreading peace, love, and happiness. Yes. And don't forget, y'all, like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. And we're going to tag a two other videos of ours in this one, which will be our Trinidad vlog and our Grenada vlog. They'll be right down here, and they should be popping up. <laughs> so be sure to check those out. Like, comment, and subscribe. And, you know, till next time. Peace. Peace.